Hey guys, how you doing? This is Madee Williams, founder of Mad QB Quarterback Academy. Also, I am the director of speed and performance here at Varsity House Gym. Welcome to the Two Minute Drill. Okay guys, so during this edition of the two minute drill, movement that I would like to feature today is the lateral sled drag, all right? The lateral sled drag is a, is a great movement, okay? Great movement that, that allows you to strengthen those muscles when you're, when you're working that lateral stride, all right? Also what it does is it activates and strengthens the, your, the muscles in your hip, those adductors and those abductors, all right? Those, those lateral muscles of the hips and also the groin muscle, okay? It's a very neglected area that I like to utilize because for the simple fact that quarterbacks or a lot of athletes that have to work on changing direction, you're working on that lateral plane. So you're, you're sliding, changing direction, Okay, so we got to do a good job of keeping those muscles strong, all right, and healthy, all right, all throughout the season, all right, in addition to trying to strengthen them in preparation for the season, okay? So when you see this movement normally performed, okay, you normally see them hold it with the arm, the inside arm closest to the, um, to the sled, okay, and then they're, they're working the movement off of that. I like to utilize the belt because what the belt does, it frees up the hands, okay, when I'm placing an emphasis on proper ball placement, especially when working with quarterbacks, proper ball placement on what I call the quarterback shelf. Okay, so I'm gonna put this belt on. Okay. Also, I'm working with a weight, all right? Right now, the weight I'm working with is around 100 pounds. The weight that you use really should depend on the overall strength of the athlete that's performing the movement, okay? Um, it's, it's not an, an, an intense drill that I like to utilize during, during the uh, warm-up pre-workout uh, phase, okay? So it's just gonna be, most, it's gonna be mainly a smooth movement, all right? I'm not running, I'm not sprinting lateral in, in a lateral direction. It's just a controlled movement, emphasize, emphasizing proper foot positioning, okay? So right now, with the belt on, I want to do a good job of keeping my front side, all right, in direct relationship with the, the, um, the rope and the, and the sled, okay? So if I'm facing the sled, the sled represents 12 o'clock, okay? What I want to do is I want to get my whole front side positioned to that 12 o'clock angle. My toes are going to be positioned at an angle at about 3 o'clock angle. All right. I do not want to close off my hips away from that 12 o'clock angle. Like I said, I want to keep a strong emphasis on my front side on that 12 o'clock angle. So accuracy of my foot placement every time it lands in the ground has to remain at that 3 o'clock angle. Okay. So now I'm going to put the ball on the shelf. Strong emphasis on push-pull technique with the offhand. Keep my toes positioned at, at, at 3 o'clock. Now, if you look at me now, I'm in what I call my power platform. All right, soft flexion in my knees and my hips, nose, knees, toes, and direct alignment, good, strong, athletic base, okay? 60, 40 weight distribution, it's my power source and my lead leg, so I wanna do a good job. I'm gonna lead with the crossover. Now I'm doing a good job of activating that adductor by driving that crossover leg up and over, and then now I'm activating my abductor, all right? Abductors by pushing and driving back and away. So every time I cross over, front hand pressure is pulling to the front nipple. Every time I drive and reach back, front hand pressure is pushing that ball to the rear nipple, okay? So it's just gonna be a nice, smooth, controlled movement. Like I said, emphasizing accurate foot placement and my rear foot does not want to leave or exit outside the framework of my body. So I can maintain good power leverage and doing a good job of not allowing this foot to reach outside the framework of my body. It would put too much pressure and tension on my groin area. So I want to do a good job of keeping that foot within the framework of my body, right underneath that rear hip, and just continue the movement, okay? Now, to do a good job of keeping everything balanced, 
we like to work the equal opposite side. Okay, so this will be a good example for a left-handed quarterback or a right-handed quarterback going back in the equal opposite direction. Same thing now, my right side becomes my front side. Reestablish another 12 o'clock angle. Now my toes are gonna be positioned at what we call nine o'clock now, okay? So same thing, I don't wanna close everything off. I wanna keep my hips and shoulders open downhill, facing the sled, same emphasis, all right? Keeping my foot, my feet, within the framework of my body, nice, smooth, and controlled movement. Nice, smooth, and controlled movement. Okay, so normally, I will have my athletes work anywhere between 20 and 25 yards. We'll go three to four rounds. Sometimes what I'll also do is having some type of contrasting movement. So I'll have this as one weighted movement and then just good, do a good job of placing the emphasis on working that same movement when we're actually driving and reaching back without the weight, okay? Without the weight. So the work with the weight and then work without the weight. So. It does a tremendous job, like I said before, activating all those necessary muscles that we like to, to develop and strengthen, um, that we utilize all throughout any type of lateral movement, lateral change of direction, okay? We wanna do a good job of keeping these muscles nice and healthy, and that's the number one main concern, all right? We wanna do a good job of increasing performance and keeping our, health, our, our athletes as healthy as possible. I want to thank you guys for joining me for this first edition of the Two Minute Drill with me, Coach Madee Williams. Um, if you have any, any questions or, or comments, please leave them in the, in the space provided below. In addition to that, like the video, okay? Like the video, okay? Um, promote it, all right? Tell as many people about it as you possibly can. In addition to that, um, I want this to be an open forum, open dialogue, all right, because I want to do a good job of releasing multiple videos multiple times all throughout the month. And like I said, open dialogue, I'm leaving it open to suggestions. If you want to see me perform or do anything, if you have any questions about some things that you may want to see me do or, or elaborate on, please feel free. Um, what I will do in the space provided below, leave you my Instagram address, my Twitter address, in addition to that, my email address, okay? So feel free to reach out to me, contact me any, any, any time, and um, hope to see you guys and hear from you soon. Thank you.